Microsoft OneDrive is a cloud service. It allows you to access all of the files saved in it on any device, including iOS, Android, Windows phones and tablets, and even Apple computers. If you were previously using OneDrive on this computer and recently upgraded to Windows 10, your OneDrive account should already be activated and be working properly. However, if this is your first time using this computer or have never used OneDrive before, you will need to follow these instructions to get started. To begin using your OneDrive account, go down to the bottom right hand corner of your screen on the taskbar. The OneDrive icon looks like two clouds that are next to each other. Click on it to open. Let's get started. Your Microsoft account is the account you should have used to log into this computer. If you never created a Microsoft account, you can sign up for one now. If you can't remember your Microsoft account, or if you have one, you can use this link right here to recover your email and your password. For most users, the default location for OneDrive should be sufficient. However, I would like to change it since I'm using a two-drive system and OneDrive has more space than the other. To change it, click the Change button and navigate to your new folder. We can see the new location right here. If this location looks right to you, or if you didn't change your original location, click the Next button. This is a list of all of the files that I have saved on my OneDrive, since I've been using it previously. These are all files that are saved on the internet, or on the cloud. This screen allows you to select which files you would like to sync with your OneDrive. For example, if space was limited on this computer, and I only wanted my personal documents, I could uncheck my other folders, and only my personal documents folder would be synced with this computer. However, since I would like all of my files and folders in my OneDrive, I'll check the very top box. At the bottom, we can see how much space will be taken up by OneDrive based on the folders I've selected up here. We can see right here the remaining space I have on the drive that I selected for my OneDrive or the default drive if you didn't change your location. A new feature that OneDrive has included is the ability to fetch a file that has not been saved on your OneDrive. Leaving this box checked will allow OneDrive access to your full computer instead of just your OneDrive folder. This can be very useful if you've forgotten to save something in the proper place and need to fetch it later. As we can see, my OneDrive folder has been opened up. The folders that we saw previously are now being downloaded to this computer. In the future, if I would like to access something on any device, I simply need to save it in the OneDrive directory on this computer, and it will be made available to me.